get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, C.M. Park. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender out of sight. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and have a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for So here we go from Team of the Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International Fight League, the championship fights all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Punch over the top. And that one was heavy. Checks that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stopping this. I mean, there's no stopping. There's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the scene with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style bitch. He's a character. He's, he, he just has it, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. Whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. He's able to slip the left. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Take him down. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Big ball from Prince Land. Now he gets back to range. CM Punk gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. Not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Gotta be careful with this one. Who's doing that jab? All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Really? Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Sanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Israel Adesanya gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. And that one certainly found the target. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Attacking on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover him. You can't be off the of time. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. There on the ground, DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. man on the planet and now with another highlight for the real the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight i'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight your heavyweight champion and still a winner by submission tonight